Greetings, JD for Studio Records. Today I will talk about Together Pattern 1, which is the Ableton Live 11 project made by Children Record, released a few months ago on Patreon. And this is the only place you can get it. So, or you are a long term Patreon, or if you don't want to be a long term Patreon, just get on Patreon to get it and you unsubscribe uh, as you get it. Okay? For people who don't have Ableton, I will make available also a folder with all the patterns, I mean the patterns from the bass, drum and key in MIDI and I will also add a folder with all the samples of the studio's DMX, DMX drum, I mean Oberheim DMX. So quickly in this project we have a drum rack loaded with DMX samples I made here and the bass is made with the wave table from uh, Ableton and the grand piano from Ableton also. And even if you don't want this regular pattern, uh, you'd better stick around because I will explain some uh, more tips because adding to those patterns and sounds, uh, specific routing are made into this project. So let's go into the project. Uh, first, how you install it, you will receive a zip when you download it. And then when you open the zip, Um, you have access to this folder. You have a text that explains you to copy paste this into your track folders. And then you just click on it and open. For me, it's already open. Okay, so something I forgot to mention, but to get it on the Patreon, you must subscribe on the level three, I guess. From the level three, you can get it. Um, okay, so let's explain this page bit more music <coughs> okay so there's uh, several uh, tracks six seven tracks excuse me and uh, all tracks are set with a pattern for the drum you can see here and the bass and a skunk and uh, when I found it the key of the of the track. I note the key here. That way the people who use Ableton and want to work with the scale mode, you can when you work on a specific track, for example this track one or two or three, you write you read here A minor, so you will go to scale for example and select the A and the A minor. That way, if you're just a beginner, you can uh, only draw some chords that are in this key. And just one of them, I didn't search for the key because this was uh, fun, the last. But yeah, a bit of job for you. I remove this, don't need this. So let's just quickly send each of them. First, let's hear this. You, you must listen to this first. This is the demo of uh, the DMX. So I set um, a MIDI trigger for each. Let's listen to this. Without any bass and whatever. You know, etc., etc. So you can get a demo from uh, the samples. What can I say about the samples? They have been processed kind of uh, differently. There's only one kick into uh, the DMX, so I made several uh, variations. So they are processed, but as you can see in the waveform, they are still good, okay? Uh, let's listen the first one. So hearing the first one I just described you, perhaps you already read, but there's several kind of beats into the reggae and the reggae beats have been used to make some dub. So I set two one drop track, two over dub track, a stepper and something I call two step. I don't know how it is called, but I call it like that. And a bogle kind of a ragamuffin thing just for the story. And we could have had uh, Ska and Rocksteady and okay. But this is the first project and this is quite complete. So the second track, still a one drop. 
So as you see, this is still a one drop and uh, a bit more quick. And this is um, like a tribute to Burning Spear, uh, Wadada from Burning Spear. Let's listen to that again. So just to stay here, you see for the drum, I tried to stick a bit to what I noticed into the original track with the hi-hat and the tom and yes, the kind of thing the drummer will remark, okay? Okay, the first robot dub is another tribute, but now to the Roots Radix. Another robot dub. 100% high element style. So, okay, I was at the robot dub. The next one, a stepper, also high element style. Next one. for what what you can do with it you can just take one track for example let's do something we will do a quick example on one track i will take the stepper and we bring it on the arrangement page okay we will read it from here set all the loop same length okay <laughs> Okay, for example, we will come into the racks and effects and routing on, on the next, but we will stay on what we could do with this. So first, what we could do, we could transpose the track to make it uh, different just uh, that way. So let's just du duplicate all this. Okay, set another color. And um, we will put the drum Let's mute the skunk, listen only the bass in solo. And you remove the fold if it's here and Ctrl A, select all the notes and choose another. For example, okay, so I came into the C1. Okay, I was here. One, two, three. I go into the skunk and I bring them up from three also. One, two, three. And there we go. Okay, you can do this for two reasons. For example, you want to make a bridge or you want just uh, the sound to sound at uh, pitch which will be near or your instrument or your voice if you want to sing. So this is the first tip. The second one would be uh, to rebuild something out of it. And you got infinite possibility as it's still in MIDI. So even the sound of the bass, let's check quickly. Um, so for each instrument, instrument, excuse me, I set them into racks. So racks are important because we can put just a few options into this uh, eight knob. And we don't have that way to deal with all the knob of the synth. Uh, of course, if you want to know how it's uh, built, you can open it and you can also go into the map and see 
um, what have been uh, mapped in MIDI to those uh, macro knob. Okay, so I don't go more in detail, but there's enough things in it. For example, I tell you just one thing for the moment. I set a compressor in it after the bass, and it's called sidechain drum. Okay, so in this compressor called sidechain drum. I set two compressor, so I get very in detail. You can uh, simplify all this, but it's um, a way to bring some uh, new point uh, on how you can um, set a template uh, useful in every case. So I put two exact same uh, compressors, um, one for the kick and one for the snare. In case we have a robot dub, we have the kick in and the snare. And I don't do some... Um, uh, what I would say, sidechain, too obvious, but I just want to reduce the frequency addition between kick and bass, because I want a bit of mid in my bass and I want a bit of sub, a little into my kick, so I just want sidechain, let's see. It goes. Okay, you see there's 6 dB reduction, so not a lot of sing, and even if you solo the bass, you barely hear it. Another tip I can give you, by the way, is sometime sidechain, even when it's not needed, it can make groove uh, the sound of your bass. Okay, let me cut it. Do you hear the, the attack of the bass is more obvious? That's great, but um, we want it more discreet. And uh, yes, yeah, sometimes just a sidechain on the on node base, the base of the node. Yeah. So we run it at the start. Uh, yeah, ready. So you have many uh, possibilities, but uh, sidechain, well done, is one of them. Here you can see the second. Uh, already linked to the snare into the drum rack, so you have nothing to do just to look at it. And, uh, okay, so even here when we have the snare, and if really you don't want all of that, you just open the bass rack and you switch them down. Okay. So the second one I was saying is to randomize uh, the pattern. The pattern is this. Okay, and then the four times this pattern, perhaps a variation, um, I guess not. So let's trick on the pattern. We will stay on one loop of it. And for example, we have uh, two times the same chord, so we could Take this bass and reverse simply, they are on the same chord. Okay. And we will do the same for the other because they are on the same chord too. Perhaps you can move also one or two skunk. Those two one, I guess, I can uh, replace. Okay, and in this idea, you can also do the same with the drum or even go deeper. You just keep uh, the drum for example, and you write uh, some other skunk. So you duplicate the drum you choose, loop it, and you put yourself on the skunk. So let's go for something simple. Let me paste this, okay, and put
put it one octave up. Okay, that will do the trick. We will leave it like this. Sometime if you choose to put just one piano, it can be okay to duplicate the wall and set it uh, octave above, maj up. That way you cover more. Okay, give me the drum. And the bass. something like that. And yeah, in two minutes, as you already have a basic skunk and a basic bass track, as you saying earlier also two oxes have been prepared in into racks I made also so I keep open the rack where you have the best uh, option for example also on the reverb and the echo I repeated this um, let me open it just for you to see so there's an hybrid verb a bit uh, and after this verb it is very useful, for example, post-verb, because if you want some uh, heavy uh, verb into your mix, uh, I don't talk about dub and uh, splash verb, I, I mean big verb into a mix. And um, a good idea can be to add a reverb, a sidechain, and you sidechain it first. The first idea you can get is sidechaining by the pre-FX. But the thing you can have when you go through the sidechain pass, you can have a band pass filter. So you will just select a specific frequency band to trigger this thing. So you will set it around, I set it around the kick and the snare frequency. Uh, the snare tap around 200, 250 into its fundamental. And you have still some kick here for you to understand the thing. and you still hear the effect when you solo only the verb. So let's just deactivate the sidechain and then activate. And you see you can have some huge, huge reverb, but uh, the sidechain will make it pump. Okay, let's say this could be a background effect. Let's go. So you can go a step higher by duplicating this reverb chain. And you set one on some long reverb and the other one on a specific uh, effect reverb or short verb. Whatever, you have the principal uh, building blocks and then you do what you want with it. I guess you get the idea, you can use it uh, by manipulating the, um, the MIDI parts or composing again or using the drum and making another bass or using the bass making another drum. You can dig into the racks and learn things 
Okay, so I guess we did the tour. So of course, if you have some questions, thank you to comment uh, below.